What's going on, everybody? This is Chris. Alongside, as always, is Eddie T. What's going on, bud? Uh, I'm doing well, man. I hope everyone uh, listening is. Yeah, this man. Is yeah. Uh, we this this is going to be yeah. available on YouTube, Facebook, yeah. all major yeah. podcasting yeah. platforms. Yeah. Uh, this is the yeah. Serial Killer Nightfall Serial Killer Chronicles. Yeah. This time mm-hmm. we're taking a look at Aileen Bornos. Aileen Bornos, yes. the damsel of death. Yes. And mm-hmm. we have here with me my lovely better half, my wife Rachel, who is sitting in on this uh, podcast. Uh, she. Hi, Rach. <laughs> Hello. She she Hello. was very yeah. curious. Uh, you know she she loves serial killers, kind of like me. Uh, so mm. she wanted to get in on this, uh, so she yeah. is a bit nervous. So and you yeah. did pronounce her name wrong as Eileen, but Eileen Lee, whatever she wants to go as, mm. she's dead now. Yeah. Be respectful yeah. of the dead. I'm being respectful of dead, but yeah. still. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. So look, I'm already get um, <laughs> uh, talking down to. Um, but okay, so Aileen, hey, folk, marital bliss live on air. <clears throat> yeah, marital yeah. bliss live on air. So, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> do I need your notes? Uh, mm. no. So Aileen Warnos, you know, yeah. she, mm-hmm. she got brought up in a very bad childhood. Mm-hmm. Her father was a pedophile and no. also accused of yeah. rape and murder. Yeah. And murder. Yeah. yeah. So she didn't grow up not knowing her father. Her mother mm-hmm. left her at that tender yeah. age. Yeah. And her and her brother, uh, what mm-hmm. was her brother's name? Keith. Keith. Mm. Yeah. Um, were really adopted by mm-hmm. the grandparents. Yeah. And she, as a side yeah. note, she didn't get to even see her father in prison because he killed himself by hanging. Oh. Mm. That's what a lot of people uh-huh. don't know. Is That's another reason yeah. why she never even visited yeah. her, him in prison. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Right, shall I get into the uh, the main meat, meat and potatoes of it? Let's get into yeah. the main meat and potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Since the end of 1989, the Florida State Police have been taxed by a series of unsolved murders around Marion County, which looks as though they followed the pattern. All the victims had been white males, middle-aged or older. And all had been shot dead with a point twenty point two two calibre handgun. Some of them were found naked. When the victims had been identified, it was learned they had all been travelling alone by road along one or other of Florida's interstates. And the stolen cars had later been found abandoned. Twelve months later, the Marion County Sheriff's Office Task Force investigated the deaths were convinced that's a serial killer was stalking the highways. Not difficult to believe in view of the facts that an estimated of 100 serial killers are at large in the US at any given time. And what was unusual in this case was that it was the beginning that it was beginning to look as so though the murderer was a woman. This was consistent with the fact that some of the victims were naked and that their car and in the, that their cars were found in condoms on the floor and long blonde hairs on the upholsterer. Mm. It would also account for how the killer could get so close to the victim without arousing suspicion. The most probable pre explanation was that their suspect was a prostitute working from the roadside. Mm. Right. And you yeah. know, you gotta also, you know, you bring mm-hmm. this up is the thing. Yeah. Um yeah. You know, she had sexual relations with her brother, Keith. And the grandfather mm. actually abused her and molested her as well. And uh, he had when some of his friends come over and, mol- and molest her also. And that's how she got mm. pregnant. Yeah, At such a young age, it was one of her yeah, grandfather's friends. She, yeah, she was pregnant yeah. when she was younger. But mm. she also, you know, as known around Troy, Michigan... Yeah. As what was it the? See, I never could figure out what it, they were she had a nickname, you know, because mm-hmm. everybody she was notorious with all the teenage boys. Well, uh, like either mm-hmm. sick pig or sex pig or something. S- no, yeah, something, mm-hmm. something, something like saying. sick pig or sex pig. Yeah. Um, and you know, because she would actually 
do sexual fla- favors, almost says mm. flavors, Jesus Even Christ. Like middle elementary school, middle yeah. school. Yeah. That's all well, yeah. sex. Yeah, right? she was pregnant when she was first, I. Yeah. By one yeah. of her grandfather's friends. Yeah. Mm. One of, you know, the thing about it is. He, he let him do it. Yeah. He her, her, mm-hmm. Well, her yeah. his wife, his her grandmother was a drunk. Well, yeah. they both were. Yeah. So all she knew was sex, drugs, drinking. Yeah. That's all yeah. from the gate. She did mm. not have a chance at a good life. Yeah. No. Uh, she really didn't. And, you know, mm. the the thing about it is, with her having that notorious rap around yeah. Troy, um, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. she would sell sexual favors for money, loose change, yeah, yeah, yeah. cigarettes, yeah. food. food. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Was she that into drugs? So it seemed like she more drank than into drugs. I don't know. Mm. I mean... I don't know what other things are, you know, mm. telling you as far I know, as... I know she was a smoker, yeah. so she did yeah, that. Yeah, she, she did mm. s- sexual... drug rise. Yeah. If she yeah. was on the drugs or just as smoking and drinking. I, I know she, mm-hmm. in her younger days, she threw a, a party at her house mm-hmm. with all the money that she had earned from these sexual propositions. Um yeah. And invited mm-hmm. people over. She was actually kicked out of the party that she bought all this alcohol, the food. She kicked her out the back door. Kicked her out the back door. And walked her out right. of her own house. That, that, to me, you know, she was screaming from an early age anyways. Mm. And from the yeah. time she was born, she had no chance. No. No. No one wanted to help this, this kid. And I know you yeah. shouldn't feel bad for a serial killer, but knowing what mm. you do know what we do about yeah. her she mm-hmm. and her not having to change you kind of feel a little sympathy yeah. for her not for what she's yeah. done in her adult life but what she you know she had to go through yeah 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 now i don't know if that's the female in me or mm-hmm. the psychology part of it i yeah. just i feel, feel a little bad for her in the beginning mm. well you i mean there again you've got to feel i mean it, yeah to, to your knowledge eddie uh you know mm-hmm. Would you feel bad? Uh, I suppose a way, in a way, uh, f- for her, for her early, uh, earlier life, yeah. I mean, because a she never grew up knowing her mother or her father. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was led to believe that her grandparents were her mother and father. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, then you know. One day she happens to find out that that's not true. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that would mess with the head of it. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you, you got to think. Mm-hmm. I mean, then your own grandfather letting their mm-hmm. friends come in and you know molest yeah. her. Yeah. And then got that's her pregnant. Right. Mm. She couldn't even trust her family. The only person no. she tr- trusted was her brother. But there yeah. again, I don't and, know if Eddie, if yeah. you knew this, but mm. she actually. You know, had those sexual relations with her brother Keith. Yeah. Because that's the only person she felt like she could trust. And I think that yeah. comes from not having a real father. I think that's like a daddy issue. Mm. That's how I yeah. see it. Yeah. Possible. Mm. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, what, see what else you got there, bud? Yeah, right there. <clears throat> um. But, yeah, the um, yeah, I Aileen Vornos, she was born in Detroit, Michigan, in nineteen fifty six. Yeah. When she was six weeks old, a teenage mother deserted Aileen, the brother and a psychopathically violent father who regularly beats his wife and anybody else who happens to be in his way. Aileen and Keith found themselves abandoned to the care of an elderly, well-meaning grandmother and a brutal alcoholic grandfather. There was ill treatment of the children, according to Aileen, made their everyday living nightmare. Mm-hmm. And by the age of 12, she had already succumbed to the family weakness for alcohol. At 13, she was pregnant, and supplementing the bruise with drugs. After her baby had been given away for adoption, she dropped out of school in 10th grade and began to sell her favours on the streets in order to finance a growing habit. Yep. And over the coming years, 
She would work her way through a succession of dead end jobs as she hitched around America. They then claim to have been raped more than a dozen times, <clears throat> beaten more, more often than she can remember. It was in 1976 when she was 20 that Aileen arrived in Daytona Beach, Florida. She formed a succession of unsatisfactory relationships with men. And after one particularly acrimonious separation, she tried to commit suicide by shooting herself in the stomach. It is just the first of several unsuccessful attempts over the years. Nayla met Tyra Moore in 1986 in a bar called the Zodiac. Yep. In the beginning, at least, the close and intense affection existed between the two women. Though, by all accounts, every drinking resulted in frequent bitter arguments. And if we can believe Eileen's subsequent stories, she was utterly devastated by Ty's desertion and for it. And for her, it marked the end of the world. Yep. And throughout their love affair, she continued as a highway hooker. But the strain was beginning to unhinge her already unstable mind. Although she claimed to have had up to a dozen clients a day, there were some who wouldn't pay, and some who would just beat her up just for the hell of it. And if she hadn't already hated the whole of the male gender, she certainly did now. In 1989, she picked up a .22 revolver, an equaliser. And shortly after this, the killing spray began. Mm. Dang. You know, yeah. you see, it's just like you, you think she got from mm -hmm. the, the small town of Troy, mm -hmm. Michigan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, a big city, a fast-paced life. Mm. Well, I mean, Troy, mm. Troy, Michigan is, you know, it's kind mm. of small. It's mm. really a humble part of Michigan. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, yeah. on the outskirts of, uh, I guess, Detroit. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah. you know, really podunk and small. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there again, you know, she did all those favors. Um, mm. Yeah. And... You know, then she started doing the mm. known as, you know, the mm. highway killer later on in life. Yeah. Um, but that's the thing. Why would she mm. get deemed the highway killer? Yeah. At least happen off interface yeah. and highways. Well, yeah. yeah. She met these people. Yeah, yeah but but that's the, where you find them. But there awesome again. Side. Yeah, that that. that. That was normally the press, though, wasn't it? It gave her that name. Yeah, it had to have been just press. the press. Because yeah. Yeah. even yeah. later on... Ex titles like that sell newspapers. Well, yeah. you got to think, yeah. uh, you, know, I, you know, there again, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. why did... Mm -hmm. yeah. How did Jack the Ripper get his name? The media. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. She was actually... According to the media, mm -hmm. the first, the very first female serial killer in America in a yeah. non caring field. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, I mean like yeah. she wasn't a nurse or doctor or caretaker. Yeah. She didn't work with the elderly. This was someone just mm -hmm. a random female just, yeah. you know, started killing people. Yeah. Yeah. She was basically a drifter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the you know, with the madness, the killing, um, yeah. with the little to no remorse. I mean, it's just like half yeah, of the killers, yeah. anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. there again, she yeah. struck me. I've seen interviews. Yeah, no, I have. I saw a few do documentaries on her. She, I mean, mm. the way she would just for one minute yeah. be, in a way, sane. Yeah, and then go from yeah. that to bulging mm -hmm. eyes, looking like she's on LSD yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. You gotta think that yeah. she drank from when she was a little kid all the way up until she got in prison. Yeah, so that's gonna mm -hmm. have an effect. And we don't know what mm -hmm. kind of drugs or medications she had used. And yeah. her mindset, killing someone, no matter what you say, oh, I don't mm -hmm. care. That can change yeah. your mindset. Yeah. And we don't mm -hmm. know if she was bipolar or schizophrenic or that was yeah. a defense mechanism 
to try mm-hmm. to not be in prison, or she really was yeah. insane. We don't yeah. know. It was hard to judge her. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Yeah. On her, go back a step. Her mom was about the same age as she got pregnant with Eileen. That yeah. Eileen was when she got pregnant. Yeah. So so basically, Eileen's mother was the same age as Eileen when and she yeah. got pregnant with Eileen. Yeah. That's a freaking yeah. tongue twister right there. Yeah. I don't, I don't care who you are. Try to say that five times fast. Yeah, exactly. If you say that yeah. five times fast, see how it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. you got to think, you know, I'm well versed with Florida mm-hmm. because I yeah. was born and raised in Florida. So I know mm-hmm. Marion County pretty well. I know, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Daytona, mm-hmm. Orlando. I know those areas mm-hmm. very well. Yeah. And. You know, she she got notorious in those mm-hmm. areas. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I... Go ahead. It seemed like Ocala, mm-hmm. Orlando, Daytona, mm-hmm. those were like the main areas, it seemed like, from my understanding. Yeah, because yeah. It, it all it all circulated around yeah. uh, Volusia. Mm-hmm. Well, she did mention Miami a few times, but I don't well, know if she ever made yeah. it down there. Yeah. 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 But there again, you know, you mm-hmm. can't go straight off of a, a movie, yeah. a crime yeah, movie like Monster, mm-hmm. uh, because we don't, you know, you don't know what's dramatized right. and yeah, what's yeah. actual facts. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah anyway, the uh, <clears throat> the first victim grouped through the series was fifty-one-year-old Richard Maller. His badly decomposed body was found in the woods in December 1989. He'd been repeatedly shot with a small calibre gun. Over the first few months of the new year, five more bodies were found in similar circumstances. And finally, in June 1990, a 65-year-old missionary named Peter Sims left his home in Jupiter, Florida, bound for Arkansas along the... The Interstate 95 Coast Road through Daytona Beach. He never saw either his home or Arkansas again. Indeed, CM's bodily remains have never been located. However, on the 4th of July, his grey Pontiac Sunbird was involved in an accident at, at Orange Springs. Witnesses running to the scene were just in time to see the two female occupants of the car flee from the wreck and disappear over the fields. From their descriptions, police artists were able to compile a pair of likenesses which were broadcast nationwide. It was not long before Moore, a 27-year-old sometime hotel maid, and her lesbian lover Aileen Lee Vornos, alias Cami Green, Laurie Grody, and Susan Blahovacek, and the cooperation from Ty Moore, who was in, who was to turn state's evidence, <clears throat> undercover officers were able to stake out the bars and clubs around the Daytona Beach area, hoping to get, get a sighting of Island. And at a seedy single story brick shat. Brick shat. <laughs> brick shat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Yes, that's your cave poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. The bar... Uh, yeah, it was called The Last Resort. Yes, which is mm-hmm. still standing yeah. in Daytona Beach. Yeah. Um, still on yeah. being still, run Yeah, still being yeah. run and operated by the same owner. Mm. He's still on yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll bet good. I'd have some stories to tell. Well, mm-hmm. from, from mm-hmm. photos you can actually pull up mm-hmm. online of The Last Resort Bar... Yeah. Um, yeah. There, there, it, there again. Yeah. It's on the yeah. wall. Her name is yeah. on the wall. There is no. a serial yeah. killer hot sauce, Eileen yeah. Warnos hot yeah. sauce that they had made. Yeah, yeah. They're just cashing in on the name, aren't they? Well, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. everybody knew. Yeah. Everybody knew her because she was mm-hmm. well liked in that bar. 
her yeah. and um, yeah, uh, her, yeah. her 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 lover. Um, mm-hmm. You know, there yeah. again. You know, she's she she was met her mm-hmm. lover. Yeah, and you know they, in a way, mm-hmm. hit it off. Yeah, I think Aileen had some feelings for her. Yeah, yeah. but she's made it known yeah. in other, mm-hmm. um, like interviews, yeah. that yeah. she really wasn't. She didn't clarify if she was straight. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know, or gay or yeah. uh, anything like that. She never really yeah. said to the fact. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she kept it, she kept it to herself. Yeah. I didn't close it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, because uh, yeah. Ty, mm-hmm. she worked as a maid mm-hmm. for a, uh, a hotel or now, which yeah. is a resort in Daytona. Yeah. yeah. You know, they mm. were staying at this rundown uh, Fairview yeah. End in Daytona. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. and then you had Aileen who, you know, wanted mm. to try to get out of the hooking business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she tried. Yeah. Um, okay, most prostitutes try that, don't I? But a lot of them, they yeah. You don't wind up that way. Well, she she tried to have this mm. simplistic way of yeah. life. Uh, yes, yeah. she knew it was easy mm-hmm. money pulling yeah. the tricks. Yeah. But there again, she wanted to become, you know, of course, way she quoted it, one with God and yeah. kind of get a better life for her and mm-hmm. Ty. Yeah, yeah. But in a way... Uh, I mean, yeah. I think we all can really agree on this mm-hmm. that she wasn't doing nothing but manipulating Ty. Yeah, yeah. Using yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, for, for her own means. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of them relationships. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody has mm-hmm. one. Mm hmm. So, so you were going on about the. Yeah. First murder. Yeah. 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 Um, but, um, um, We've kind of lost uh, track here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. It's all, it's all good, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think um, I noticed all of her kills seem to be like older men. Like yeah, 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 middle age and whatnot. Yeah. 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 There, there was a, there was a weird, what would yeah. you call it? A, not a pattern, but yeah, I see a pattern. or coincidence. I see a pattern yeah. because all, of, yeah. all of them were over forty. Yeah. There's none younger. Yeah, than that's true. None. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And more of them were, most of them were under fifty, over fifty. Mm-hmm. It was very. She didn't yeah. only have that baby one or two that was in their forties, yeah. which yeah. makes you think of like a, a there again a daddy complex looking for that father mm. mother figure. Yeah, and that's I it. I feel like she's kind of punishing them for their sins. Mm. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It's, I mean, some of these people were married with kids or grandkids. Mm. It's like, well, yeah. why aren't you there with them? You know. Well, see, she never you know once her actual her child was adopted. You yeah, know, put up for adoption because a she was too young and yeah, you know, um, yeah. So she never literally got to know her daughter. Yeah, yeah. I assume it was yeah. a daughter. Yeah, yeah. So for we never know. Yeah, that's something mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. you know top secret and hell, I guarantee you, no. she doesn't yeah. even know. Yeah, she probably we don't know now. Do you? she might know? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean. Mm-hmm. It could be yeah. a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. possible. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, yeah, the trial of Aileen, uh, by now dubbed the damsel of death. Yes. It opened it. Deland, Deland. 
the land. Florida, the land, Florida, on the 12th of Jan, 92. <clears throat> Although she made a video take confession to her seven killings, there was only one charge on the indictment, the first degree murder of Richard Mallory, her first victim. Yep. According to State Prosecutor John Tanner, Eileen had been plying, plying her trade when she was picked up by Mallory. <clears throat> That's an overpass near Tampa. They drove along Interstate 4 to Daytona Beach, where Mallory pulled the car off the road into some woodlands where they had sex before Eileen shot Mallory dead and hid his body. This much she was prepared to admit, but she insisted that the killing was self-defence. And in Eileen's version of things, Mallory tied her to the steering wheel of the car, raped and sodomised her, and threatened to kill her if she kept struggling. She just managed to pull her gun from her purse as Mallory, so she said he lunged forward at her. And through her return, Aileen protested that Mallory was drunk and had been smoking marijuana. What happened was bondage, rape, sodomy and de degradation. What's more, she was convinced that Mallory wasn't going to pay her. And it was a defence that attracted ridicule from the prosecution. She, she was a predatory prostitute, yeah. John Tanner told the court. She killed out of greed. No longer satisfied with the 10, 20, 30 dollars, she wanted it all. It wasn't enough to control his body. She wanted the ultimate, his car, his property, his life. And giving evidence against the former lover, Teria Moore said that on the evening of the 30th of November, Aileen had come home, <clears throat> a little the worse for drink, driving a new car. Later, Aileen announced that she just killed a man. Moore said, I didn't believe her, and cross-examined Ty Moore was adamant that her partner made no mention of being raped or beaten, nor, nor did she did she did her seem very upset about anything. Yeah. And Tanner's in, <clears throat> in, implication was clear. He was a cold-blooded, emotionless killer who far from suffering the trauma of rape, sodomy and degradation had simply shot one of her clients for his car and the contents of his wallet. And it is clearly the explanation favoured by the jury, <clears throat> who on the 27th of January, after 95 minutes of retirement, they found Aileen Vornos guilty as charged. Yep. <clears throat> as she was led from the dock, Vornos turned on the jury screaming, scumbags of America, before being hustled out. And two days later, acting on the jury's recommendations, Judge Blaine sentenced Aileen to death. And in May 9, 1992, Vornos was tried and convicted of three more of her seven admitted killings. After Judge Thomas Sawyer sentenced Vornos to death, and she yelled, Thank you. I got a heaven now, and you were right in hell. Mm. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, she sat on death row for over 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's the standard thing, though. Any 10 yeah. years of appeals. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you got to think. Here's the thing. She had mm -hmm. a lot yeah. of killings. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One of them being an ex-police mm -hmm. officer, a former, a retired police officer. Yeah. Um, that ended up being her last one. That was mm. ended up being one of her last ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who was shot, and yeah. according to what I've seen and heard, that mm -hmm. this officer, uh, you know, I guess Marion County. Um, yeah. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we think we think it was Marion mm -hmm. County. Uh, he yeah. was actually found on a abandoned, well, a cul-de-sac mm. in a way. Yeah. Um, by a group of kids just riding their bikes, yeah, in Ocala, yeah. and yeah, yeah. Mm. you you would think, yeah, that with that being her last victim, mm. yeah, um, yeah, 
I'll just say it's mad how she got bored down, that, that undercover uh, detective in the bar. That's true. Yeah. Well, you got to think. Um, and she had no idea that he was recording everything she was saying. <laughs> well, see, here with interviews, both me yeah. and Rachel both have uh, mm. seen, I'm sure you've seen them too. Yeah, she seen, was seen. on about basically the cops mm. knew what she was doing. Yeah. They were watching well, it's her. Like most police forces, if you're a prostitute, you generally need to own something because you're in and out, you're in and out of the police station all the time. To get used to. Well, she was yeah. on the fact that the police knew what she was doing and they were okay mm. with it because she was mm. ridding the streets of mm. the. She had words for it. She was ridding yeah. the streets of scum because she thought yeah. the entire world was mm -hmm. better off without this scum yeah. in it. I'm not sure she was yeah. like, saving other yeah. prostitutes and hookers and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they were safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I think I feel like she, in my opinion, went back and forth mm. on that because I felt like you know she shot that first guy. It's like, oh my god, why mm. do? Then she's like, yeah. got the second one. Hey, they're not catching on. And yeah. then when they started connecting the pieces yeah. after her seventh one, and they put that mugshot, yeah. she goes, okay, yeah. now the cops are watching everything we do. Now they know yeah. it's me. Yeah. And then that's when she started freaking out again. Mm. How, and that's how I'm seeing it. Yeah. Well, you you gotta think. Um, if mm. she if she got that, not gonna call it sloppy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. there yeah. again, you think she had to have. Yeah, well, most murders yeah, in she, general, I think serial killers in particular, they tend to basically fuck up near yeah. the end. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, every serial killer mm. ends up screwing mm. up at the end, whether yeah. leaving evidence, yeah, yeah. that's it, or yeah. some yeah. sort of yeah, yeah, identification or mm -hmm. a calling yeah. card that hey, ooh, yeah, I'll yeah. slip up on this shit, you know, yeah, give yeah. myself yeah, away. My, most uh, serial killers they also collect trophies with rich jewelry, cars, okay. money, whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, from mm -hmm. stuff stuff that I think, I mean, I've heard mm -hmm. that she did pawn a few things yeah, from yeah. these gentlemen callers. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. there again, I know she kept keepsakes. Yeah, yeah. and that's just newspaper clippings. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the one thing that was true in yeah. the movie Monster. Yeah, yeah it's that, like an ash. <clears throat> scrapbook of the uh the best of times yeah mm. yeah <laughs> but she you know she got she got sloppy mm -hmm. um you yeah. know to mm -hmm. all due respect to the uh yeah. families yeah. that lost yeah, yeah. their mm -hmm. husbands fathers yeah. yeah um you know all due respect yeah that's it you know aileen mm -hmm. warnos yeah um, mm. short. Yeah. She had shortened her name. It was Lee. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I guess that was really a nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like the the lame part of an name, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. But there again, she, in a way, she was confused about her sexuality. Mm hmm. She claimed to be, to have been raped. Well, yeah. Obviously, yeah. she was. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. she claimed. Yeah. Rape on a, on some of these uh, yeah. murders. Yeah. Yeah, but back in them days, it must have been like the UK. Yeah, it. If you uh, came, they used to get that many false reports being filed mm -hmm. into the system, like saying we've been raped and. Basically, eighty odd percent of them were basically made up. That's that. Yeah. That is true. That's that's what I mean. But it's all changed in the last so many years. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's all changed. I mean, it's mm. just you know mm. coincidence yeah. that that's she yeah. even yeah. with interviews. Yeah. yeah. She would go from okay, yeah. I'm. One with yeah. God, and yeah. I know yeah. what I'm doing. To mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Let's throw yeah. the guilt trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go. Yes, your eyes reminded me of one of them bug eyed Martians off a. Uh, uh, what, what you call it? That thing with uh, Jack Nicholson and uh, the guy that played Bond. Oh, mm. yeah. That's what you're trying the to make. Spy Oh. So I saw a comedy thing. Oh, you're talking about Mars Attacks. Mars Attacks. That's it. <clears throat> um, yeah. mm. You she know, always remind him I had one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and she, yeah, bug eyed Marsha. Here's the mm. thing. To all due mm. respect to the lady yeah. who adopted mm -hmm. Aileen yeah. Mornos later yeah. on in life when she was already uh, mm. in prison for these murders. Yeah. Yeah. You know... She mm -hmm. felt that Aileen didn't have a good childhood, which she didn't. Yeah. But yeah. she also believed in giving back because that's what God would want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sounds as if she was adopted by uh, people that were going to give her uh, stability and stuff in her life. That's, that's what I mm -hmm. got from... Yeah. The yeah. um, Born to yeah. Kill documentary. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. But there again, I don't think really, mm. even if she wasn't serving 10 years yeah. on death row. Yeah. I don't yeah. think she would have ever got out. I know that was probably in, in yeah, her no. mind. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get out of this. Yeah. She did. It's basically a whole life sentence. Yeah. Yeah. See, she yeah. wanted she wanted to originally be electrocuted by old Sparky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chair. Sure mm. Well, yeah, yeah. most painful ride. way possible. Yeah, she wanted to basically I mean, ride like the lightning. Yeah, basically lethal injection. Mm. It feels like you're falling asleep, mm. and so you don't really know too much of what's going on. There's two oh, drugs yeah. that give you an lethal injection. The one basically gives you a cardiac arrest. Yeah. And the other one's a major painkiller. Yeah, <clears throat> because yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't go through, you know, no. say, s say yeah. stating this, you know, having a major cardiac arrest. Yeah. You gotta yeah. pump me full of something else yeah. to plus, numb that uh, pain. Plus, it's a known fact at the moment of death, the bowels and all that they become incontinent. Yes, they void. Yeah. You yeah. void it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't, yeah. I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. that yeah. has to be, pun the phrase, yeah. one mm -hmm. shitty job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you, you can yeah. imagine. Yeah. I mean, I look at corporal punishment a different way, because we, we got rid of it in the, the uh, mid-1960s. Well, yeah. to, to we got rid of it because it was a known fact, and it still is to this day. It's it's no deterrence. You've only got to look at your system. Yeah, it's no deterrence. People still go with murder. That's yeah. true. Yeah, no one cares. that There's a death sentence until they're banged up. That, that, mm. that is true. I mean, mm -hmm. in a way, you can say, mm. yeah, the UK invented mm. the the death penalty in a way. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it's not some I've ever looked into. Well, that I mean, mean, then again, they've been cutting heads off from that for thousands of years. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Off yeah. of his head. Um, yeah. Because Saudi Arabia. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mental yeah. yeah. stone you death in some countries. Um, yeah, Saudi. But <laughs> it's funny, in one of the interviews, yeah. Aileen mm -hmm. mentioned, of course, it was called mm -hmm. uh, the. Um, over killer or the overnight killer or something it was mm. a dramatization tv yeah. miniseries that they had made mm. on her ross and it was she's like it just basically made me mm. pun the phrase i'm not trying to be mean mm. to people of yeah yeah uh, of um their sexual preference. I'm not trying to be mean mm -hmm. like this. Sorry for the the, yeah. the language here, but mm -hmm. she had said that miniseries had glorified her 
as yeah. a lesbian dyke. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. It what you saw, she was most happy when she was with a woman. Well, mm-hmm. under yeah. but but then yeah. but she said yeah. in an interview that yeah. she didn't consider herself lesbian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she was in a uh, carpet munch in denial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, she could. She was probably in denial. Mm. I don't think she was straight. I think she was either bi at the mm. very least. Yeah. Bi. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put money on that. Uh, I mean, I would too. I mean, I've seen pictures yeah. of Ty. I've seen him in the documentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, no offense mm. to yeah. to the lady. I mean, mm-hmm. not my cup of tea. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. not with yeah. a uh, mullet. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, just stating. Speaking of, yeah. I know she turned state's evidence against her, but how mm. did Ty feel about yeah. the yeah. lethal injection that happened and, you know, what her end feelings mm. about? Her yeah. I mean, that was a huge part of her life. Mm. And she had to turn against her lover. Yeah. I want to know what her thoughts are now. Yeah. I mean, that's been... Mm. That's a curious... That's a curious thing. It's been 19 years Mm. almost since uh, Eileen Mm -hmm. was put to death. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. I mean, it had been 10 years almost from the time that she was caught to when she Mm -hmm. was put to death. So my my thoughts are, what what is Ty going through? What what were her feelings? Mm. Is she... Yeah. You know, I'm sure she's glad it's all over, but... Mm. Is she glad she met Eileen and happy for the time she had with her? Or does she mm. regret it? I mean, I know from what I think she's... I suppose it's a mixed people... bag, and it? It's a bit, bit of everything. Yeah, it, it has fun. to be. Yeah. It has mm. to be, in a way, yeah. a mixed yeah. bag of emotions. She'd always... The partner would always try and dwell on the... Uh, the better songs yeah. that they, they had before all that old... You're in right with them. Drive yourself crazy thinking about what she had done. That's mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. I mean, that that right there is true mm-hmm. uh, to the book right there. I mean, it's yeah. just... Mm-hmm. you got to think, why would she... Yeah. yeah, you'd never sleep. You kept that shit on your mind. No, you wouldn't. You'd never sleep. Well, that has to do something to mm-hmm. her psyche too, though. I mean, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. basically yeah, in bed yeah, with the murderer. Yeah. And she knew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she only knew yeah. about the first killing for the longest mm-hmm. time. Yeah. 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 Plus, the partner knows there's people out there, authors and stuff, writing crime stuff about Aileen and their relationship and they're making money from it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, that's what... That as well. I mean, that's, mm. that's what the, the, yeah. the miniseries that... Mm. Aileen was talking yeah. about, you know, that was just yeah. a cash grab. Yeah. yeah. Making yeah. money on yeah. calling me a serial killer because she never yeah. really considered herself a serial killer. Yeah. Yeah. She was. yeah. But yeah. then she, I think she did come with the copes and yeah. the grips to reality yeah. that saying, hey, yeah. I. Yeah. Does that mean if you try accidentally step on a corn flight, you're a serial killer? Yeah. That it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. That 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 that's yeah, yeah. You look at it that way. Well, if you yeah. step on a sugar uh, frosted cornflake, does that make you a sugary yeah. serial killer? Yes, it does. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, she was more fruitier than Fruit Loops. She was more cuckoo yeah, than yeah. cuckoo puffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. so, getting yeah. back to the story at hand. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what they did with her body afterwards? Uh, I, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I haven't got that information. I mean, I would imagine, well, because yeah. there are videos and... Yeah. I mean, yeah, you see the hearse take her body away, but what did they do with it afterwards? Yeah. They yeah. probably buried it. You they buried it. Yeah. Cremate it. Don't know. That's something for a later yeah. date to figure it out. Um, yeah. You know, it's just that. We don't know what happened. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm gonna see. she's going to actually investigate a little bit. Yeah. 
I don't think my book is going to tell <laughs> She's going to look in the book. Um, but there again, Aileen got... Mm. She started... Yeah. In a way, going a little bit yeah. more psycho with, in, in in a way with each murder because yeah. she associated that yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, Eileen's body is cremated and her ashes were spread beneath a tree in a native Michigan by a childhood friend, Don Botkins. Don Botkins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she Not spread the ashes. We didn't think to mention. I just found. Okay. Yeah. It says that her words to the Florida Supreme Court, I'm mm. one who seriously hates human life and would kill again. However, yeah. during her 10 years on death row, she became a born yeah. Christian. Yeah. And said she yeah. would welcome paying the ultimate penalty, which would, of course, be yeah. death. There were many, there many murderers and that serving life with no parole. Uh, how many of them have actually turned to religion and actually been... Devout. Mm. That that is true. I mean, you can call yeah, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it's just bullshit. They're just trying to gl gloss it over. That's that's yeah. true. Oh, look, I'm a changed individual. I might be eligible for parole at some point. Yeah, yeah, right. So that me no, probably ain't gonna happen. Well, that <clears> is true. Mm. That is very mm -hmm. true. That you yeah. know, she probably just tried to yeah. get one up on. The De mm -hmm. Florida Department of Corrections. Yes. Um, in a way, because she's uh, oh, I'm a, I'm a born again Christian. Yeah. This and that. Yeah. But she said yeah. she was okay with paying the penalty. Well, she is always mm -hmm. okay with paying the penalty. Yeah. She wanted yeah. to be put in old yeah. Sparky and. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of people when they're born again, they say, "Well, mm -hmm. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I don't want to die." Yeah. No, but a lot, of, a lot of them would also be wondering about the afterlife. Yeah. Am I going to be... And I found out the answer about her about what they do with her body. Mm. Well, he just said it. Hmm. Yeah, she was... Yeah, they spread her ashes in Michigan. The a childhood yeah, friend. Beneath the tree. Beneath mm. the tree, yeah. And they had yeah. Natalie Merchant song Carnival be played at her funeral. Mm. Natalie Merchant. Must be mm. a song that she liked. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, but mm. there again. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't remember ever in the the charts, like the music. I'll never remember hearing a track called "All Men Are Bastards." Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> because mm. I mean, she was yes. Yeah, but, yeah, but we are. Yeah, mm. that's true. <laughs> We're all bastards yeah. in our own little ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Aileen Warnos was mm -hmm. sentenced to death by lethal injection October yeah. 9th, uh, yeah. 2002. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wonder what she had as a last meal. That mm -hmm. is a curiosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, it was. What the last meal was. I think in, in mm -hmm. the, the documentary that I saw, it's like she, mm -hmm. she refused to eat in a way. Uh, yeah. But well, she had to have eaten yeah. something. Maybe she's scared as don't she's even see it self bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. was scared to make a mess. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Someone who yeah. murders someone is scared to make a mess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> declined a special mm. meal. Okay. Had a hamburger mm. and other snacks free from the prison's canteen. Mm. Oh. She drank a cup of coffee. She her last meal she was didn't a, want a special meal. She declined that. She declined it. Mm. Her yeah. last meal technically was a cup of coffee, a couple mm. of commissary hamburgers, and snacks. Right. And snacks. She didn't want anything uh, special. She didn't. Yeah, yeah, she didn't want to be treated yeah. or anything yeah. special. Yeah, if that was me. I would have been sending them to all the upper up class fancy restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> get me yeah, this. Get me that. Get me that. Mm. Huh? Have her mm. last words here. What were her last words? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is this isn't. Okay, she mm. said, "Yes, I would just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus, June 6th, like the movie, big mothership mm. and all. I'll be back. I'll be back." Mm. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. And she wasn't just talking. Mm -hmm. From the video I've seen, she was almost screaming it. Yeah. It, it was yeah. bizarre. Yeah. And it's I've, I've seen that video footage. It's bizarre. And I'm curious. Mm -hmm. I wonder how she would, if she was still here, still on yeah. death row, still alive. Mm -hmm. how she yeah. would actually react towards yeah. that 2003 mm -hmm. drama movie, crime yeah. drama movie, Monster. And I think it depends yeah. on if she's still thinking the same way or if she's grown mm -hmm. up, per se, and had time to think about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't, I, I mean... Some people's thinking never change. Some people, they grow up. Yeah. I'll shrug. What? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, with mm -hmm. the reason, and I'm going to let everybody know, the reason mm -hmm. we're kind of not diving mm -hmm. deeper into the murders yeah. of Eileen yeah. is because mm -hmm. the families of... Yeah, 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 yeah. That <clears throat> the living is still affected. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so in, in a way we've got to make light of this mm -hmm. serial killer chronicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have to. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. with what are your opinions mm. on Aileen and just uh, her time on this earth and what she uh, did <clears throat> and and past yeah. and, and stuff like that. Well, if I put her into context with some people who I know or used to know, the, um, they come from fucked up childhoods and that themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they never went out and murdered anybody. Yeah. They did what they had to do to turn the life around. Yeah. But they never went out that way. Mm. Yeah. I mean, she. But, Go yeah. Ahead. Go ahead, bud. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's. A lot of people come from backgrounds like that, yeah, but you grin and bear it and make it the best you can, don't you? You just gotta, what's the phrase? You just gotta soldier on. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. in a way, my term yeah. of soldiering yeah. on is to nut up mm. or shut up. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To quote that exactly. great movie mm. known as Zombieland. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. There again, Aileen yeah. Warnos, yes, she grew up with not knowing her yeah. father and not knowing her mother. Yeah. yeah. An abusive, yeah. alcoholic yeah. granddaddy. Yeah. yeah. Alcoholic grandmother. And an alcoholic grandmother who died yeah. mm -hmm. of, I think, a, a heart attack. Uh, that or something to do with alcoholism that induced it. Yeah. I can't remember what that is. Cirrhosis. Yeah. It was cirrhosis of the liver. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. And yeah. I watch, you know, YouTubers, and you know, I love my Bailey Theria. Yes. Mm -hmm. She yeah. brought up the question of, I wonder if the grandmother knew what was going on. Mm. That is yeah. actually a good question. Was she so drunk all the time that she didn't care, didn't seem to notice? Was it something yeah. the grandfather hid from her? Yeah. yeah. Or she just, she didn't uh, care. Maybe she was scared of yeah. the I mean, uh, she was closest <clears throat> to her grandmother and her brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, her grandfather, uh, the era they would have been brought up in themselves, yeah, they, they would have been right hard asses. Yeah. Yeah, compared to, to that, today, they, they would not have stood the shit like people do today. No. And another they used to beat it into them. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Did the brother endure any of the abuse? Mm, well, that's that's a that's, a, that's a thought. Yeah, that's a thought. But see, then yeah. her brother ended up dying of emphysema. Yeah. Um, and Eileen didn't you know and didn't even know it. Well, yeah, uh, she went to the funeral, but she didn't know that he was that sick. Yeah, she mm. didn't know that he was that sick. And he, she somehow yeah. got her way up to the funeral. Well, we know how yeah. she got her way up to the funeral. Yeah, but I wonder <laughs> if you know if the brother you know endured any of the abuse. Yeah. See, yeah. that's that's the one thing that's not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know documentaries when yeah. it comes to true crime mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. um, meant to be on the person that they're focusing on, just like this one, yeah. Eileen Warnos. Yeah. 
But yeah. I'm curious if her brother Keith, yeah, that that is very curious mm-hmm. if her brother Keith was subject to any of this abuse. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but he must have known what was happening all the time. Yeah. He had no, no kids, stupid. And what mm. if the grandfather kept it secret somehow? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's like a lot of um, child sex abuse victims that um, they basically learn to live with it and cover it up, don't they? In a way, yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. They, the abuse only picks one child they focus on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. For some yeah. reason, just focusing on one child. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard that. <clears throat> yeah, I've but, heard that figure. But there again, do mm. whose gr- whose parents yeah. were they? Were they Eileen's mother's parents? Or were yeah. they Yeah. her father's I'm parents? I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume her mother's because her mother was the one mm. that abandoned them there. So I would yeah. assume that... Because you got to mm. think, if it was her father's mother mm. and daddy that... that yeah. That adopted her, you got to think yeah. that has to that or run mm. in the family, because look yeah, at yeah. look at Eileen's dad, who mm. was, you know, all intensive purposes a, a pedo. Okay, this yeah. according to this it says when Warner was almost four years old, their mother abandoned her children, leaving them with their maternal grandparents, meaning mm. her mom's parents. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they were both al- alcoholics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there again, I mean. Because yeah. I know myself, right? Because my uh, late father, he was in uh, Alcoholics Anonymous most mm-hmm. of his life, mm-hmm. right, literally right to the day he died. Yeah. Eileen yeah. had a boy, not a girl. Okay, yeah. so Eileen had, yeah. the, had a boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like. Speak from the fact my dad was in Alcoholics Anonymous. Like he's, uh, there's no such thing as an al- alcohol- alcoholism, uh, Joe. Yeah, that's true. In, in your day and I, yeah, because I've, I don't drink. <clears throat> that's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't run in your family. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you're, you're basically wired that way. Yeah. Mm mm-hmm. hmm. I mean, more you're gonna... prone to more prone to addiction. Yeah, mm. it's more yeah. prone to addiction than anything mm-hmm. else. And mm-hmm. of course, you know, Aileen being such of a mm. young age, very yeah. promiscuous. Yeah. Yeah. But she was yeah. also the yeah. shy girl yeah. at school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So. Yeah, because they would have basically drugged her to the eyeballs when she was younger. Oh, well, that's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's what it seems like. Well, it turns out her father was schizophrenic. So that oh. can be passed down to... Mm-hmm. That is true. That is... That is... I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't yeah. schizophrenic. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So that ran in their uh, family. Yeah. Did it? Because, because Schiz- Eileen's dad, he was schizophrenic. Mm-hmm. Oh. He hung himself in prison. Yeah. Damn. So there again, mm-hmm. that could have yeah. followed her yeah. into her yeah. adulthood. Yeah, it's possible. And, uh, and uh, late possible. and early teens. Yeah, possible. I mean, mm. yeah. For Eileen Warnos to mm. do, yeah, what she did. Because of yeah. her background of being yeah. Yeah. sexually. Man, I'm just glad in a way that she shot a victim. She didn't do a John Wayne Bobby with him. Oof. <clears throat> yeah. That that's a different case for a different time, and I don't know no, if no, we'll ever cover the John she Wayne Bobby. She could have went right. She, she could have easily have done that after that, that's... Paris Water. Mm. Yeah. She could have she could have cut the old wedding tackle off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, that I couldn't mm-hmm. imagine. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. So my opinions mm-hmm. uh, on this, um, 
playing it really close to the belt here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Aileen Warnos, to yeah. me, yes, she yeah. spilt um, yeah. schizophrenic. She was. Yeah. yeah. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, she did. She knew she was going to get a, yeah. eventually try to get away with it. Yeah. Um, if it wouldn't have been for the hiccups mm -hmm. in the road, of course, no offense to Ty, but yeah. there again, Ty turned state evidence against Aileen. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so that makes me wonder if she was in fear for, for her own life, I guess. Yeah. Maybe she went in the protection thing because of that. Mm. Well, I mean, that is true. Mm. I mean, she had mm. to have been yeah. totally yeah. terrified yeah. of mm. what was going on. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I presume she was in the custody of the U.S. Marshals. Mm -hmm. I presume. Mm. So yeah. change, I do... change your name and all this. Yeah. Mm. So I feel that mm. Alien yeah. Warnos. Yeah. You know, in a way, I mm. feel sorry for her and her younger. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I don't feel sorry. Yeah. I can't justify what she did. No, no. To, Definitely to, those, not. to those men. Uh, <coughs> Definitely that had not. Families. Yeah. Children. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, no matter what anyone thinks about the crimes or about the woman herself, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, <coughs> she was found guilty by jury of her peers. Yes. Yeah. They gave her a sentence. She served the sentence. She was executed for us. Yeah. She's uh, she's square with the house again. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And just yeah, she's like paid her dues. And just like any yeah. serial killer. Yep, uh, yep. she has you know would stun the test of time in a way because mm -hmm. there's so much yeah, um, yeah, yeah. merchandise sells yeah. over that name yeah. with her picture yeah. movies yeah. television mm -hmm. dramatizations yeah um, yeah that's what I mean serial killers sell books and all that yeah yeah make movies mm. no, that is true that yeah. is very true yeah, yeah. um mm. So, I mean, that's the reason we're doing mm. this on Eileen Warnos. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And leaving yeah. out some of the... Yeah, yeah. More what was the copper, the copper that bought her down, the undercover guy? Was he, was he still a serving officer, is it? Was mm -hmm. the was the officer that brought her down the the undercover officer? Yeah, is he, is he still on the job? I would I I would doubt it. Mm. Yeah, he's probably retired now. Mm. That's been mm -hmm. at least thirty years ago now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So. Boy, if he is still in the place he today, he'd be 30 polishing 30 a shape behind the desk. Yeah. Mm. He's yeah. either. Sitting behind a desk or yeah. sitting mm. there drinking, yeah, uh, yeah. whatnot on a yeah. on a beach somewhere. Or mm. We can hope yeah. that, yeah. Um, mm. But there again, uh, yeah. Florida was rocked by this, yeah, in the nine the early nineties. Um, yeah. It was. And, you know, there again, uh, what she did was mm. on her own accord. And yeah, that's she it. knew what she was doing. She ended up getting yeah. caught. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, at least she didn't get directly get a partner involved in it. That is mm. true. Because. Mm. Yeah, like, she didn't drag her into it that way. In a way, yeah, mm. she didn't drag mm. her. She didn't drag Ty into it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's just a shame she basically wound up as collateral damage. Yeah. Mm. yeah. In a way, she did. Ty mm -hmm. wound up as collateral damage within yeah. the whole thing. Mm hmm. Uh, I it. think 
Eileen's first problem would have okay, she told Ty mm. about the first killing. Yeah. There's yeah. there's the starting of that screw up. Yeah. Um so yeah. and it just spiraled out from there. Yeah. The alcohol got yeah. the best of her. Yeah. And That's it. when someone is on alcohol they 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 lose all their inhibitions and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. All the morals out the window. Yeah, they lose Mm. common sense. Mm -hmm. So, well, I think this is a good stopping point because we have been an hour. Yep. Uh, So, thank you all for tuning in. Um, Yeah, appreciate you guys. Yeah. The next Nightfall Serial Killer Chronicles, we do not know who it's going to be on. No, no, yeah, we still got to decide that. Um, but you can bet safe than sorry that the next mm-hmm. hack and slash is yep. going to be on one of my favorite vampire type mm. movies, mm. and that is Blade. Blade, yeah, Wesley Snipes, <laughs> Wesley mm-hmm. Snipesers. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, so. Look Mm -hmm. forward to that and more with myself and Eddie. And hopefully my lovely wife comes back and joins us in a couple. Well, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Um, sure. So, you have any closing remarks, bud? Um, uh, Not really. I'm just glad you're all tuning in and listening. Um, Yeah, and if if we've upset anyone with some of the uh, subject matter, then we, we can only apologize. It is what it is. Exactly. Mm. It is what it is. Um, yeah. And, well, my closing remarks mm. are, yeah. Yeah. if you're not subscribed to Scream Time mm. Horror Podcast, yeah. be yeah. sure to yeah. hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Put that and notification. The little bell. <clears throat> that little mm. bell. Click it to all. Yeah. Yeah, because you got to pull it to all because you don't get any notification. Exactly, because we notice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That a good percentage isn't subscribed. Yeah, that's it. And we mm-hmm. want to have you as a subscriber. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. your yeah. watches, and yeah, as do. well as the people that are listening on all podcasts mm-hmm. and platforms and on our Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Um, be sure to go over there and follow our Facebook Screen Time Horror Podcast. Yeah. Go That's over so to sure. our Twitter, Scream Time Horror One, mm-hmm. and our Instagram, Scream Time Horror Podcast Two. Yep. Um, so let's get out of here, Eddie. Yeah. Thank you to my lovely uh, wife for uh, yep. coming That's in, it. and we'll see yeah. y'all down the road on the next Nightfall Serial Killer Chronicles. Uh, we will. Catch you guys later on the flip side.